so arithmetic progression so here i will take two numbers two series 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the next series will be 2 4 6 8 10 so what we can see in these things this is having a difference of 1 correct 1 plus 1 is uh, 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 whereas here 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is uh, this is plus 2 correct this is a plus 1 series and this is a plus 2 series correct so what we can see in all of these stuff is nothing but the common difference or this value the plus 1 or the plus 2 value correct this is same so this is called d and this is called the common difference in the sense if i take this as my first term this is obviously my first term and what is my last term my last term is 6 in this thing the first term is 2 last term is 10 so first term i am taking it as what i'll take it as A one, the first two. A two, second term. A three, second, uh, third term. Correct. And the difference, this difference, this is called common difference. So, how to get the common difference? If I subtract from A two minus A one or A three minus A two, if I subtract these things, I'll get my common difference here. So, if I do A three minus A two, so in the first case, correct. I'll get what three minus two, so which is equal to one. So this is my common difference here. D is it is represented by what D? D is my common difference. A or A one is my first term. And the last term is what? Here I can see the last term is six. Correct. This is my last term. So I'll write down in words here. Last term. Last term is equal to six. That is nothing but a n or nth term. Nth term. Nth term means can be any term. So generally in arithmetic progression we will use nth term as the last term. Okay. So first term, second term, third term, nth term. Fine. So here it is a six, the sixth term, obviously. So whenever we are dealing with math, okay, we have to start from very basics because our main idea is to understand what is the subject all about correct what we are learning about so we should not first get into bigger term 1200 negative 40 negative 41 negative 42 no that's not the way to do we would always start from smaller numbers so that our brain correct it feels somewhat relaxed okay okay these things are easy and we can learn it very easily fine so a general formula so a general formula I'll write down here. A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So just now I discussed what is a n. A n is my last term. Correct. A or a one is my first term. Then d. D is my common difference. D is my common difference. and then we got something called n here n correct so n is nothing but number of terms fine suppose i am now let me take one example here simple example only i'll take okay so 2 4 8 6 up to 10 Okay, two, four, eight, six, up to ten. So in this problem, we can see the first term. First term is what? First term is two. The last term is ten. The question here is find the number of terms. The question here is find number of terms or n. Okay. So basic thing here for this question is two because two, four, eight, six. Then we know what is. Eight six one comes six eight, so that's my uh, mistake. Or else I'll just uh, erase this eight thing, so that then there won't be any confusion. Yeah, two four six. I'll put six here. Okay, 
up to 10, 2, 4, 6, up to 10. Find the number of terms. So we clearly know after 6, what will come? 8 will come for us. So how many terms are there? 1, 2, 3. Next term is 8, but I'm not putting it here. But totally there are 5 terms. So we already know the answer. Correct? We already know number of terms is 5. Common sense. 2, 4, 6, and 8 and 10. Again, I'm taking a simple example because our focus is not about solving complex problems, but to understand what is this arithmetic progression, we have to make questions. Okay, we should be able to do any question. This is a very easy chapter and we can score full mark in it. Okay, fine. So in this, if I want to find the number of terms, first term I will write a n. Last term is 10 here. This is my last term. Okay, done. I wrote 10. This is my first term. Correct. First term is what? 2. And common difference. So it is plus 2. Correct. 2 plus 2. Common difference. There is nothing but 2 I will write here. That is my D value is 2. Now to just substitute in what? This formula. Which formula? A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. Correct. In this formula I have to substitute. So if I substitute in this. Okay. A n I know. I am just substituting all these values. Okay. A n value is what? 10. 10 is equal to A value is 2. From where I am getting the values? From here only, from these things. Correct? 10 is equal to 2 plus n minus 1 into d. d is also 2. Now what I will do? I will take this 2 to this side. Correct? This 2 to this side. So it will become what? 10 minus 2 respectively. So this implies 10 minus 2 is equal to n minus 1 into 2. 10 minus 2 is 8, this is equal to n minus 1 into 2. So this I'll write on the next page. 8 is equal to n minus 1 into 2. Now what I will do? This is by 1. Correct. This is 8 by 1. This is by 1. Correct. So what next thing I'll do is I'll cross multiply these things. 2 I'll cross multiply here. 1 I will be cross multiplying there. So 1 it is not required here. 2 will directly come here. Correct. If this one is going here, no changes. So that's not a problem here for me. So 8 by 2 is equal to n minus 1. So if I cancel this four times, this is where we make most of the mistake. n minus 1 is equal to 4. So what we do is we have to shift. Shift what? This minus 1 to here. So it will become plus 1. So we get the answer as n is equal to 4 plus 1. Answer is 5. n is equal to 5. This we have to frame it in a box and key. So that our teachers will see this as our final answer. n is equal to 5. But again, I took this question because already we know the answer as what? 5. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There are 5 terms. Correct? We just proved it. So like this, we can make simple questions. So the idea for us is what? to make simple and easy questions. So the formula we are using is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d respectively for arithmetic progression.